Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Herfing with Elf. Today I'll be wearing my new G-Unit uh, hat and I would play some G-Unit in the background but I'm in the garage tonight and I really don't want to disturb my wife so she's sleeping. So I'm going to have this little Norteño, it's a small cigar. Uh, the bigger ones are real good but I try to go for the smaller ones when I'm smoking in my garage so they don't stink up the garage too much. But uh, I'll, I'll light it up and uh, get back with you and uh, cut it and see how it tastes. By the way, uh, this little cigar is a Coronita 4x46. It's a box pressed so, as with most box press cigars, I've actually had this before. It uh, tends to have an easy draw, very uh, high profile in terms of uh, quality or rating. It's uh, cigars like this tend to have pretty high ratings. Box pressed, smooth, easy draw cigars. Um, let me light it up, cut it, and see how the flavor is. Cut it first. Before I go too far, I, a lot of guys that are into cigars are also into knives uh, or whatever. There's, you know, some are into other more dangerous things, but um, not me. Uh, but I do like knives. Uh, my friend kind of kind of told me about you know how to shop for a knife and basically. Uh, you know, escorted me to the knife shop, which in my case is Walmart. Uh, I picked up this Kershaw filter for $14. It's nice. It's assisted. It's a nice knife. So, uh, go to Walmart if you're looking for a starter knife. I also have another Kershaw it's a uh, it's a smaller one. I forgot the exact nomenclature, but it's carbon fiber and it's a lot lighter and uh, a little bit, a lot quite a bit smaller, but still not too small. The unit. I got to tell you right off the bat, I didn't get a very good light there, but I'll touch it up later, but. Right off the bat, I'm getting a very, uh, you know, potent smoke. Uh, it's uh, very gassy, you know, a lot of smoke out of the thing. Uh, that's not going to burn out. I'm going to have to touch that up. I don't have my single flame, so I have to try, to try to touch it up with my triple flame. Some people only use single flame lighters uh, for the cigars. Uh, Got a cheap triple flame once and it's pretty reliable. Uh, it's kind of like a pocket rocket. Uh, this one's made by Techno. Uh, I like the chamber, big chamber. I like the fact that you can see how much fluid's in there. And, you know, Throws off a nice flame, although I probably have to clean the jets out a little bit. I don't know why this place. Oh. Why that lit up with the red? I hope I didn't dream of my phone. Well, let me get back to this cigar. Yeah, I'm going to have to touch that up. That was a really uneven light. <coughs> Throws off so much smoke. For a little cigar, it's almost too much. Uh, you gotta... Well, you know, take a puff and move the cigar away from your face. It throws off so much smoke. Um, you'll notice I'm in my garage here, and... Uh, well, it's nice, except, you know, 
cars are in here and crammed back in the corner by the door that goes into the house. I really don't have any ventilation in here to speak of. But I think it is, might be insulated, so it stays warm. I got this little heater here. I'll, uh, the, the heater, the heater's kind of, it's a cheap heater. I paid 20 bucks for it, so. And it really doesn't throw out that much heat, so. All metal electric heater from Walmart. There's better ones you can get at Lowe's, sometimes on sale, electric heaters. Uh, propane is really the way to go. Uh, or kerosene, if you can deal with all that. Um, so maybe when I build a little man cave in the backyard, which is one of my goals, uh, I can have some, maybe a wood stove would be nice. So, anyways, uh, back to the cigar. A little bit of leather of this. Pretty pleasant cigar. It's a, it's kind of it's almost full bodied. I, I have to say, but it's a small cigar, so. Well, I'm going to have to touch that up. I'll touch that up and get back with you folks. Well, I touched it up and the smoke is just pouring out of this thing. Uh, I torched it a little bit. and uh, But it's not bad. As far as the way I lit it. You know, it's not... It would be a more even burn if I hadn't uh, even unevenly lit it. But uh, it's only a fairly good burn right now. And that's touching up with a triple torch, which I typically don't do on a small cigar like this. Well, I guess I should try to retro hail. This is always a laugh. You see why? <laughs> I don't know why I can't do it. I, can't do it comfortably. I'm not sure what the. That'd be some trick. I've heard all kinds of tips, but I just can't get it for some reason. Might have got a little up my nose that time, but mostly out of my mouth. So. Just picking up a little bit of spice as I get into the first third. Um, I like that in the cigar. You know, you got, if you don't like spicy black pepper type cigar, this one is just this one might even have a little red pepper in it. It's really like not my taste buds. I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to pause, smoke a little more, and get back to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pairing, this is a Drew Estate cigar, by the way. It's uh, kind of like, uh, usually it comes around with the Undercrown line. It's not Undercrown, it's a Norteño. It's N-O-R-T-E-N, with the two dots over the N, O. It's, uh... You know, it has all those uh, satisfying properties of box press cigar. Well, I sm swab most of that. Anybody can email me or Facebook me and let me know how you retro hail. Uh, I would appreciate it because if you know a way, I mean. I've heard you bend your head down, you clench your teeth, 
you put the tongue, your tongue up against the roof of your mouth and seal it. Um, but it never seems to go up. I, occasionally it does, but it never seems to go up through that cavity. I don't know if I got some kind of anatomical defect. It doesn't let me do it. That's a coffee. I'm pairing this with a black coffee. Well, caramel macchiato creamer. So it's not black, but it was black. Um, it's good. By the way, I'm not, I know I'm advertising G, -G, 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 -G Unit, and if you don't know what G Unit is, well, look him up on YouTube. You'll know. If you ever heard of Fifty Cent? He's in G, -G Unit. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite rap bands. Uh, not my very favorite. I've also been into some hip hop lately. Uh, the hip hop is good. It's on the radio. I got rid of satellite radio so I can, you know, find something on some channel that I, I like and I'll listen to. If I can't, I got Bluetooth in my car now so I can stream music from Tidal, T-I-D-A-L, uh, $10 a month subscription and stream books on tape. And sometimes you find books on tape on YouTube, um, you know. Get an app or go on YouTube and you can find a lot of stuff, uh, audio stuff. Or just, uh, if you want, like music, you can get whole albums, brand new albums on Tidal. Uh, thanks to Mark Phillips for that. Uh, he told me about Tidal. Everybody uses Spotify, use Tidal. Well, I can't say enough about this cigar except for the fact that it's flowering, but that's probably the way I stored it. I ordered them a couple weeks ago, and I maybe even longer, and they never got them out of the box under the humidor. But I just got a nice pr Christmas present from my friend Sean, so I'll be able to store those cigars uh, soon, once I season the humidor. Um, I could probably fit them in my uh, Cigar Fest humidor, but um, by the way, the Nortenio, the bigger size, is available up at Tismart Cigar Shop and Lounge up in Burton, New York. Uh, it's a Drew Estate product, so hopefully that'll be around for a while. I want you to see the smoke bomb when I smoke this thing. It's a lot of smoke. A little bit of cream in this too, a little creaminess to it. I like that. I've always liked creamy cigars. They're really good. Well, I'm running out of time. I try to keep these to 15 minutes. I don't think anybody's attention span is longer than that, especially when you're listening to and watching me smoke. I might even get a little coffee and cocoa out of this. So, you know. Subtle, but yeah, uh, you get that those notes from the cigar. Um, very, just very good cigar. I can't, I, I really can't say more about it. Um, I'm sure somebody else has a review where they say a lot more about it, but I'm happy with the cigar. And I highly recommend you pick some up. You can order these through the mail, or better yet, get the bigger one and go up to Tismart and get them. I don't think he has coronitas right now, but who knows? He may get those in. Okay, well, I don't want to speak for them, but uh, it's been nice smoking with you, and I'm going to sign off.